Uh, right, despite what I mentioned earlier, I've, turned, I've got a few other blog posts that um, <clears throat> I need to do before talking about the shoot, which is a bit awkward. Uh, <clears throat> the main things, uh, first off I'll sort of just talk about the actors very quickly and stuff like that. We've got a few um, few actors who've uh, said they're willing and able to uh, come along. We've always had issues with actors before, so um, I'm expecting something to go wrong. But uh, Like some people falling out from underneath and stuff like that, but... Um, Fingers crossed it'll go well. So, um, playing the role of Mark, we've got Alex, and um, he's a friend of mine from back home, back in Essex, and uh, he's going to be. Uh, he's he's had uh, experience with stage and stuff like that. He's been part of stage productions and things like that before, and he sort of has done a little bit of acting and student uh, acting on films, sort of student stuff and things like that, YouTube videos and the like. But. Um, yeah, so he's kind of our ace in the hole, if you will. Like he's kind of I've, I had the idea for him playing Mark for a while, and he's sort of because he can do I think he can do the kind of meticulous thing, the meticulous quite nit, 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 nitty gritty that we have from Mark as a character quite convincingly. So um, he should hopefully be um, a good fit for the role. We've got playing Paul, uh, another actor called Victor. And um, hopefully he should fit the role role really well because he's kind of he's quite sort of the lad and things like that. And I think he can kind of he'd be able to fit that alpha male role quite quite well actually. I think so. Um, that'll be good. And um, playing the role of Luke, we've got a non-actor, but my good friend Adam, uh, who's also on the course with me, and he's going to be. Uh, I was thinking because I was kind of racking my brains. I was having trouble trying to find another actor to play Port, uh, Luke and stuff like that. So. Um, Adam sort of said to me, he said, oh, do you think, you, um, can I be involved in it in any way? Do you, want, um, do you want a hand with anything? I'm quite happy to act if you want. And I sort of thought, because I gave it some thought and stuff like that, because my original plan was obviously I wanted professional actors and stuff like that, or at least student actors to do the, to be working on the project. But sort of more and more I thought about it, the more and more I thought, wait, because I have been, as I mentioned in another post, I've been basing the characters off people I know and personality traits I know. And a lot of Luke, he didn't take it too kindly when I told him, but a lot of Luke is actually kind of based off him as a, as a person. Obviously taken to a caricature and stuff like that, but kind of the pleasant sides of Luke and stuff like that. And sort of the, the comedic sort of, you can say you can say some thick things and stuff sometimes, so that's kind of a bit there in the character and stuff as well. So um, hopefully that will come across quite nicely, and considering I know him, so, I know him fairly well, so what, I, I know him. Uh, I'll be quite comfortable being able to say to him, like, mate, you've done that wrong, can you just reread the line in this way and stuff like that, as opposed to if I was telling, like, a professional actor how to do their job, which is always a bit uncomfortable. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of that, and um, that's how the actors are going to go and stuff like that. So a quick chat on, I suppose I'll combine this post with directings, considering I've um, only gone through 3 minutes and 15 seconds. 16, yeah. Uh, yeah, directing kind of. I've, if you've been following, I suppose if you're the lecturers, which are probably the only people listening to this, um, you know that I've sort of been doing um, most of my experience beforehand has always been in kind of directing and stuff like that. That's what I enjoy. That's what I want to want to one day do. Fingers crossed. Once I always do that. Fingers crossed. It's weird. Um, yeah, I've always wanted to do. I've, I've always kind of enjoyed directing. It's something I want to do. It's always sort of appealed to me being able to tell people how to tell people what to do and stuff like that. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to. Um, my main thing this time is I want to, considering that I'm putting in this extra effort with actually getting the proper kit out and not just being so rough and ready with it, booking out lighting and stuff like that. I really want to get everything tweaked and to be perfect the way I want it to be. So. Um, well, obviously, I'm going to be um, working with Alex as the DOP, um, and he's going to be sort of taking charge with the um, kind of camera stuff and things like that, so getting the shooting settings and stuff right. I'm still going to take sort of a fairly main involvement with, um, excuse me, uh, taking shot, uh, picking shots and stuff like that, despite having, I've got the shot list in my head, but new things and stuff like that I want to play with, but... The thing that's always that I've always enjoyed about directing is working with the actors themselves, and I think it's kind of that's something I really want to develop more now. Considering that I've got more so than any other thing that I've written, I've 
I feel like I've got a much clearer idea in my head of what I want from this project. So, um, well, what I want this final piece to look like and how I want people to talk about things. And I kind of understand the characters more intimately than I have in the past. So um, it's going to be, uh, yeah, I think an illuminating experience being able to work on something that I can actually talk with conviction about. Like it's, um, I know behind most, if not hopefully all of the actions, um, I know I know why the characters are doing them. I know what's behind in terms of their thought processes and stuff like that. So if I can channel that with the actors, that's going to hopefully, um, yeah, come across as something good. So the piece is um, it's going to be convincingly acted, which should be nice, and it'll hopefully sort of take the script above and beyond what I've done with um, from what I've written down and hopefully through. Because I always I always like to do a bit of improv as well with them. Um, kind of after. Um, after we usually try and just do a couple of run throughs on the um on the shot and stuff um, on the on the scene before filming while um whoever's setting up the camera and stuff like that and then we um just do maybe five or six takes of just a plain straight run through and stuff of the of the thing as is and then i usually like to say well guys do you want to just improvise it you know what's meant to happen in this scene so do you want to tweak things your own way and more often than not that's the stuff that we end up using because it just just feels more naturalistic. It's not sort of like they're. It doesn't feel quite so much like people are just reeling off lines. It feels like they're actually having a conversation and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's all going to go well. Um, not sure what else to say about directing. I can kind of evaluate myself afterwards, I guess, once the shoot's over and everything like that. But I always do a shoot evaluation post. So what I'll do is I'll just have a quick chat saying, "This went well. That went well. That went bad. That went good. Bloody 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 blah." But um. Yeah, I think in general, hopefully the next post should be the uh, should be the shoot, all things considered. But okay. <laughs>